What's up, everyone, and welcome down to the vault in celebration of Hatriot's release of From Days Into Darkness, July 26th. I'm running a week-long episodes of interviews and reviews with the band. And a couple of weeks ago, I ran an interview with my son, Nick, who's the drummer of Hatriot. And I want to rerun that one right now. I know some of you guys have seen it, but uh, some of you might not have seen it. And uh, that I'm running an interview with each one of them right now, I figured I might as well throw it in. So here's an interview that I ran a couple of weeks ago. It's a Toxic Vault first. It's a rerun, and I haven't done any reruns yet. But uh, go ahead and check this out. What's up, everyone? And welcome to another episode of this vault. And I guess this is a family episode of the vault you guys have asked and um you know i brought a lot of people in here from the bay area mutas that bay area metal scene but this day is no different because i have here from um hatriot hat riot hat riot my son mr nick souza good what's to up, see you in the vault yeah. how's it going good what's up good to have my first family member in here yeah yeah it's great to be in here uh Almost got fucking bit by that spider there. Yeah, that was crazy. Like I don't think you like my hair. I don't, I don't think, think you like no, my hair at all. Change the hair. Yeah. Oh, and you guys, watch my show on the TV. Don't watch it on the little screen. If you put it on your TV, because I know you guys all got smart TVs, put it on your TV. It looks much better. And um, if you want to send someone a message from me, go to cameo.com. And everybody, drink Death Wish coffee because it'll get you fucking zippy. And if you don't have one yet, get my t-shirt, grayhavenmedia.net. And we have embroidered patches now. So go there. So let's get on with uh, you and uh, the Hat Riot. So you got a new record coming out, right? Yeah, we got it coming out next month. It'll be out on July 26th um, called From Days Into Darkness. We're going um, to get into that. But um, yeah. basically, I think a lot of the people watching want to know that what was it like growing up, you know, with me and how, what, oh, what, what's your first, you know, um, memories of heavy metal? I mean, as a kid, because I remember them all for you, obviously, but tell everybody, you know, yeah, like, certainly. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I obviously remember growing up really young, you'd always be playing, you know, rock and roll or what I thought or metal like priest and motorhead and that kind of stuff. My first, I'd say like real like metal memory and what kind of like, brought me to like whoa this is kind of what he really does because i remember the posters around the garage you had like the exodus at you know the fillmore with forbidden and that kind of stuff and le even legacy posters i believe sure. around the garage um and we'd always you know play basketball running through and always looking at him always seeing the exodus logo but it wasn't until uh 2001 the uh thrash thrash of the titans chuck billy you know the cancer benefit right. where kind of everyone got together and it was just like i, I was seven years old running around with my brother, Cody Billy, I think John Allen's son, Nathan, we were all just running around backstage eating pizza, drinking soda. And, you know, there was just a lot of people there and a lot of respect going around backstage and just meeting everybody in the industry and just... A lot of people were interested into you guys that day because yeah. they knew that you were my children. Yeah, right? I remember so. um, when we were, we were sitting, we weren't even standing, we were sitting on stage for uh, S.O.D., I think it was S.O.D. or M.O.D. Yeah. They were, they were playing and Billy Milano comes up to us and goes... Who are these fucking kids? How old are you? And then we're going around. I'm like, seven, you know? And he's like, oh, my God, you know, and that kind of stuff. So that was cool. That that I day, think he ripped on your brother, right? Because Cody was 11, and Cody goes, 11. He goes, 11. Are yeah. you 11? Yeah. It was kind yeah, of funny. Yeah, I do yeah. remember that. I wonder if there's video of that somewhere. I'm sure there is. But, yeah, that was, I would say, the first time where I realized this is kind of special, watching you sing with Legacy, watching uh, the Exodus thing, violence. Because, you know, as it ended for us in uh, 90. 93 the initial time with exodus um i wondered if my children were ever going to see the um magnitude that it had made because mm -hmm. it died for so long i mean you and you were you were born in 93 so that was for the year like, i was born yeah so that yeah. for the first seven years of your life it was non-existent i didn't even all. play at, at that all. time no, you no. know i mean it was only just no. a memory for that so yeah and then it picked back up again, obviously, because I rejoined again in 2002. But I was playing with Perry 
for a while. Yeah, that's right. F bomb. And you yeah. were always listening to harder stuff. I mean, your brother went through a phase where he listened to Eminem, and but you never did. You. Yeah. I remember I got pictures of you in second grade with dye black hair. Uh, Iron Maiden t-shirt yeah, right, on, you yeah, know, yeah, so. Yeah, I always tended to be more into the heavier <coughs> stuff. That kind of, kind of through you, you'd always show me like, Hey, you need to check this album out. You know, I remember when you showed me what was Iron Maiden killers. That was awesome. And then I went out and bought, um, you bought me peace of mind for one, one year for my birthday, bought me a Walkman peace of mind, some CDs and new Slipknot at the time. And that was the first time that, uh. Well, that when you met Joey, right? Do we, we remember we we I had met them. Yeah, I had met. I was in Texas on tour with Exodus. It was probably two thousand and four, and I think Slipknot was on tour with like Chimera and maybe Shadows Fall at that time. Chimera and, and Fear Factory. Oh, Fear, Fear Factory, Factory. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, we both ended up at uh, Dimebags. Um, we were in Dallas at their you know gentlemen's club, and some guy that's a DJ there. Asked me if I ever met the Slipknot guys before. I says, no, I've never met them. He's all, man, they're big Exodus fans. And so then I met them there. I met Mick and I met Joey. And we hung out that whole night and we kind of traded uh, numbers. And I remember they were coming to San Francisco. They played the Regency. The Regency. The first time. Can you believe that? Slipknot at the Regency. With Kill Switch, right? No, that was still that same tour. Oh, was it still that same tour? That was was the uh, Oh, that's right. It was a better one. And then, and then, um, uh, uh, they invited us to the show and we hung out yeah. with them. And that was the yeah. first time you got to meet Joey Jordison and actually see him live yeah, and yeah. Corey and Mick, Mick. and yeah, all of them Paul, on that time. Um, James, everybody. Um, that, 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 that was um, crazy. Yeah. That made a huge impression on me. Cause it was like, at that point, you know, I think tempo, the damned had already just came out and I hadn't started playing any instruments soon, but I was, I was a big fan at that point. I really loved metal. And that was kind of the point where I'm like, I think I want to play drums. I think I want, because uh, Cody played bass at the time. Right. I they, bought him a bass from Jack from when Jack, I was in Yeah. Right, and, right. Yeah, I went to Jack's ESPs because he plays Jack. Yeah, plays you were Yamaha. the vocalist, and you're like, there's too many guitar players out there. You'll be a dime, you know, you, right. you'll, you'll, you'll get lost in the, the shuffle, but there's no drummers. And even Tom was like, yeah, you know, play. I remember Tom Hunting was like, and I'm like, I think I, I want to play drums. And he's like, yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea, you know? So. And then, but your main influence was more Joey. Yeah, than right. You know, that else. was just a little kind of you know encouraging me but yeah joey is who the reason i, I played drums and i got into drums initially be, you know big part meeting him that plus kind of he's, he's a beast anyway oh, yeah, Joey's yeah. just a I beast mean, i love him yeah his he work on iowa and the yeah his great is stuff is just he's easy he's a witch notch. definitely yeah. top notch and then uh we used to jam in the garage together yeah Remember? yeah, because yeah the initial when i bought it was cri- your christmas present christmas right present yeah were you, yep. how old were you uh, let's see. That was Christmas of 2004. So I would have been just 11. 11. Just you just turned 11. Turned 11. Just turned 11. Yeah. yeah so. I had it built for you and set up and yeah, we just, just kind of, I on, screw around on. with the guitar a little bit. And so we played yeah. and then we jammed in and then that's was, and then, um, it wasn't long after that, that you joined that little band where everybody was playing this pizza parlor in Dublin. It was called Lucky's, Lucky's pizza. pizza. Yeah. And they yeah, had some yeah. gigs there. That huh? was awesome. That was awesome. We got together with a few friends of mine Little little punk rock, like rock and roll meets red hot chili peppers kind of shit. It was cool. I was in sixth grade at the time and uh there's this pizza parlor. First gig at sixth grade, huh? Sixth grade, yeah. Wow. Fucking um there's a pizza parlor in du- downtown Dublin or the heart of Dublin at the time. And um we fucking yeah, we would just go there and a bunch of our friends and a bunch of people from Livermore. Even bands like Fallujah started playing there, which you know it's funny because they're bigger now. They're on nuclear blast. Well you have to go. You, know? you have to start somewhere, so it was bro. Like Fallujah, I remember I believe All Shall Perish yeah, played there. I think they played there it was too. just like it was just like um, Just a little Antagony. shitty little pizza parlor. Yeah. yeah a shitty yeah. little pizza parlor. And uh yeah, so we would just go there, it'd be like twice a month they'd have shows and bands and we would play and it would bunch of people always came and then you know just that that's where i started playing shows and stuff and then after that um some older group of kids um wanted me to play in their band one flew west with uh luke from rings of saturn he's actually in rings of saturn now they wanted me to play with them and they were i was i was like 15 at the time yes. and they were all like 17 18 i was like oh shit this is awesome this is cool I get to play with the big boys and then started jamming with them they really got my chops up 
you know, playing with older guys because they were a little more hard. Because my first band, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. So who does? You know, come on, everybody right? So knows we were just that. like, if someone made a mistake, oh, that was awesome. Yeah, we meant to do that instead of instead of hey, buddy, it's uh, you need to play the beat off the ride symbol. You don't play it off, you know the, the right. China well, that's you know your mechanics so, now. So. Yeah, yeah. So that helped build my mechanics and just kind and of. And your next band was people. Oscar I, right? And then my next band was Oscar I, which you kind of managed i helped him a yeah, little bit yeah because yeah. i wasn't doing any musically really at that time and oscar yeah. had been playing throughout yeah. my other you know two bands um you know the whole entire time because cody was their bass player yeah this is after enough, 2004 yeah, so i was already their... out of exodus for the second time now so then i was just kind of helping them go around because cody was the bass player in there yeah 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 and they had another drummer for a lot of years but i always really liked oscar I and when they lost their drummer, then I made the hop from um, Os- or from One Flew West to Oscar I, because I always really liked Oscar I. They sounded like a Monomarth kind of, like yeah, fucking, very Viking, Viking metal, yeah, uh, full kind of like almost you know some like dark vocals were de- de- very very you know, kind of uh, black metal yeah very there, early you know. stuff too yeah, yeah so I always thought they were pretty cool. And then that kind of fizzled out after two years, and um, we well, we, you joined that other band. That's where I had met Costa. Yeah, the kn- Knuckle Duster. Knuckle Duster. Yeah, 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 yeah. That had fizzled out. So then I, we were I was playing with Knuckle Duster, which was more like, kind of like a hokey Rob Zombie. The like, word is hokey. Uh, Awful. Uh, I, and where I met Costa, the guitar player, and put together Hatred, which I'll get Costa in because I yeah, want to tell all that story, story with him yeah. because it's a great story. I went to see him. Kid, didn't your guitar player knock over like the something and he went his guitar went out oh and, man it was, <coughs> it was a, i'm thinking typical everybody knew shit, that man. his he was my kid and i was there to watch them and it was like i was like hiding my face going oh my <laughs> god this is terrible but that's oh, how man. we met yeah costa and then that's how i started hatred and then you kind of screwed around a little bit, and then yeah, we, we had, jammed several times. We yeah. had uh, Alex Bent from uh, Trivium, who's Trivium, in Trivium yeah. now, and uh, we went through, and he was our first drummer. But Alex wanted to go and play with a bunch of other bands, right? Yeah. And then remember, we had a bunch of guys come in and try out. One guy with spaghetti stain on his shirt. Oh, that was and, alone, remember man. that? Oh, I was like, man. and I told oh, Costa, man. I go, he's not getting the gig. Just because of the spaghetti stain that he has oh, on his yeah, shirt, yeah. he couldn't just for the, the job you want. I he guess, couldn't right? come to the he couldn't <laughs> come to the audition with the shirt. When when was he looking in the mirror and looked in the mirror and said, ah, ah, that's that spaghetti stain. No big deal. Oh, that won't care." Yeah. I was like, I leaned into somebody and go, "He's not getting the job just because of the fucking spaghetti stain." I don't care how good he is, and he was awful. You actually had to sit down. Yeah, I remember I showed up to the audition just to hang out. I figure. I was like, eh, I don't know if I really, uh, cause, you know, I don't, I don't know if I really want to play in this band or anything. I just graduated high school. I was partying, you know, whatever, doing all that stupid shit. And then um, I just showed up to the audition because I had nothing better to do. I was just hanging out with, you know, Pops and Cody and Danny Costa, Means. Danny Means at the Danny Means house. And um, yeah, he was like trying out. He did some. He was fumbling over this beat, fumbling over this beat. And I'm like, no, bro, it's like this. Just totally nailed it. Costa looks at me like. Kind of gives me the head shake, and then after practice, you know, when you sent him packing on his way, you're like, "Come on, man, can you just buckle it down and and, and try out for this band?" Because they'd already, you guys have already tried out like two or three. So we tried him out, no. and I'm like, "Well, we're gonna try him out." So, but oh, no, you came up to me at, at a concert, and um, and we were walking, we were leaving the shoreline. Who did we see? We went and saw. It must have been a mayhem fest. That and would so, have been Slipknot. And we were leaving, and, and, and so you go. I want to try out. And so I remember walking up to your brother and going, huh, "Guess what? Nick says you want. Okay, fine. You want to try out? We'll give you a child. Yeah. Fuck it. We'll see how it goes." And then I was, to be honest, I was not optimistic too much. I didn't know that your ability was. I didn't think your kicks were up to that. Just personally. And then you came in and nailed it. Yeah. But I was like, wow. And towards we were turning around in practice, looking at each other, going. He's nailing this. Yeah, He's totally yeah, nailing yeah, yeah. this. So, um, yeah, there was and, like a three week process where I was in the studio every day, just yeah. hammering the drums. But it worked out. It drums. worked out yeah. good that way. Yeah, it did yeah, work out yeah. good that way. And then yeah, um, no, that was crazy. From then, from then, you've been in. From then, and you've done. Um, you do. We did. Uh, Heroes of Origin. Uh, just like two Origin, months yeah, later, later, I tried exactly. out, got the gig, and yeah, within two months, doing, we were with one. Yep, yep. Your Tiaga. Recording Heroes of Origin, so it was just like so you were bam, in the studio bam, bam, really you know? quick as as a yeah, youngster, yeah. And then within a year's time, we were back doing. That Dawn was of cool. The, yeah, we went to Europe. And went stuff. to Europe. Yeah, played Warped Tour festivals. in 2013. Um, 
that was that was a neat experience. Mm -hmm. um, played some really good shows around like Santa Cruz, L.A., Bay Area. Did that kind of thing. And then I rejoined Exodus. Yeah, after we put then, out Dawn, then we put out Dawn, and then uh, you rejoined Exodus. And then that kind of put us because you were super busy. I was, yeah, but I was still trying to play with it for another half yeah. a year. And then um, we did the show with DRI, I believe, at the Rock Bar. And you were technically still in the band. It, I think it was just Cody just have it just filled in for you because Cody used to mock him at practice. You know, he would he would like do the lyrics, you know, dude, the toxic walls like that. He would just and well, I, and it stood, and he did a good job yeah. with it. He really did, actually, um, a very good job with it. I felt that, um, you know, he could imitate it. And then um, because I left, I think the five-year hiatus has only been because your brother needed to really learn how to be a front man and yeah. sing. And you've gone through a couple of guitar players in that yeah, amount of time. Yeah, yeah, it have happens, a really solid you know, yeah. One now and just so, kinda, yeah. you know, up, up to now. So, I mean, people always wonder, like, you know, the second generation of heavy metal and this is definitely it right here. You yeah. know, um, I know a lot of other people do um, have their kids, you know, that, that are playing music with them. I know Phil Campbell plays with his kids from Motorhead. Right, the Bastard Sons. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, I believe, um, I don't know if Max Max is, does, I think, is, um, is, um, one of his, I forgot his name. I just Not Richie, yeah, right? Richie's not Richie. In, Richie's in Insight. Yeah, Richie's right. in Insight. Um, 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 yeah, I can't remember. It's not Igor Jr. It's um, yeah, one of so, his, yeah, so it's one of them he plays. And uh, it was another one I... Just found out the other day, but yeah, I think um, Tim, his son plays in Sacred Reich. His parts, though. Oh, really? I think Joey, that's Tim's son. Oh, is it? Yeah. So he's like 19 years old. So. So we'll see. Well, there yeah. you go. See, it's like kind of like, you know, the next handing the torch to the next generation. But you know, you guys, when you're well established now with the third record out, so um, yeah, coming out. Yeah. Just talk briefly about Days Into Darkness. It's the first album without me on it I, although i did write a little bit of you did lyrics, write yeah, yeah you helped you know but 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 songs. uh but vocally it's your brother's new yeah. venture to me you guys haven't heard it but i have heard it and it's absolutely uh, amazing it's really good i mean the best of the three honestly it shows such a growth spurt yeah so before everybody gets it which it'll, it's dropping july 20 july 26 july 26 yeah, so up. so you know you have to go out on massacre records yeah, there's that. Um, it just I don't know the process of you know losing you or not really losing you. We just kind of parted ways from you because you're too busy with uh, Exodus. So it was it was interesting getting together, learning how to like write lyrics and uh, you know just arrange it without you because that was pretty much one of the biggest parts that were that was just missing from it. Cody. Well, because it was my drive. All yeah. of it. I wrote all the lyrics in yeah. Hatred on the first two records, all the song titles, all of that. The drive was kind of mine and like. I have been very, very busy with Exodus in the other than this year alone, yeah. uh, which has given me time to do this webcast. Uh, I, I've been really busy with uh, Exodus over the last few years, so it's just um, one of those types of things that, uh, you know, unfortunately I can't do both bands. You know, I wanted to concentrate on um, Exodus and Exodus alone. I feel that's the best way, and I think, Again, everybody came out smelling like a rose because yeah, I love no, your brother's sick. vocals in it. And everybody's, you guys are all going to love. You're going to hear a lot of similarities of me and my son, as well as some, um, some new things too. Yeah, some, stuff, uh, the stuff death I metal death metal. I can't do that, that stuff. Uh, you know, I, I can't yeah, do you, it. So it's one of those types of things. But um, yeah, it has. But I'm going to have you guys back in in another month so we can talk about. The new record. I just wanted to get you in, and uh, right on. like I'm going to have all your brother and sister yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, that'll be It'll be, be kind of yeah, cool, yeah, so everybody gets yeah, an yeah, idea yeah. of uh, how to, um, you know, what went on in the Sousa house a little yeah, bit. How how cool, you got yeah. in. Uh, you guys leave me comments. Tell me if you've seen me with hatred. Have you seen hatred? I know they have a, a good following behind. Obviously, subscribe to my uh, channel. Good to see you, son. Thank you. Appreciate and then, it. And we'll talk to all yeah. you guys real soon. Yeah.